Lost Ark is banning bots, Sony might be working on a pro version of their current console. 343 share some bad news and GTA 5 helps out new players. Starting off, Lost Ark just implemented the largest ban wave we have seen in a game by banning over a million botting accounts in a single day. They launched last month and has experienced a massive amount of success clocking in over a million players on Steam putting it second on the concurrent leaderboard only behind PUBG. Botting is a common problem for MMO games as players deploy them to grind items and level up characters fast in order to sell them later and make a profit. With over a million accounts now banned, we might see a dip in the numbers on Steam. Although it is believed that the massive success of the game will still be sustained, then a mysterious and recent shipment from Sony has led many fans to speculate that this is evidence that PlayStation is working on a pro version. With the recent chip shortages, information about the potential pro model has been non-existent, but it is expected that Sony is working on it. The only problem right now is the fact that they cannot even meet supply for the normal PS5 module so introducing another console might be tough. The PlayStation 4 Pro released in 2016, three years after the original launched, and it is expected that the Pro version for this generation will follow the same path and release next year. This shipment of console prototypes indicates that PlayStation might already have a working module and further information could follow soon. Then 343 Industries has shared a new update and unfortunately there is nothing but bad news here. Xbox stated last year, after the release of Halo Infinite without Cooperative and Forge that both features will be releasing this year on May 3rd. Unfortunately 343 failed to meet that deadline again and now both features will be pushed back even more. With the latest Season 2 update, Xbox will release a new arena map called The Catalyst. This will be a new and original multiplayer map. In addition to this a free for all elimination mode will also be included. Cooperative and Forge is two of the most popular modes in Halo and fans are understandably upset that it is still missing. Halo Infinite should have dropped in November of 2020 but was pushed back by one year. After the delay it was expected that the game would be complete but even now, six months later key features is still missing. Then, as the invasion of Ukraine continues, we are seeing many companies take action. One such action comes from the game industry in the form of CD Projekt who has stated that they will be halting all game sales in Russia. Both Witcher and Cyberpunk 2077 will no longer be available for purchase. This decision comes after Electronic Arts who announced that they will be pulling Russian clubs from their games. This decision does have some negative effects and prove how sanctions affect everyday people. What Russia is doing in Ukraine is horrible but the blame should be placed on the administration and the military and not the people. Normal civilians and eSport players have nothing to do with this decision and most likely oppose the war as well. Then lastly GTA just announced some massive advantages for new players who is joining GTA 5 online. Right now Rockstar is preparing for their third release of GTA 5 on the new PlayStation and Xbox consoles. To entice new players to join they announced a career builder feature that will give every new player $4 million. Additionally, they will also allow players to own a business by giving them the option to choose between four properties. This will give new players a massive advantage that will allow them not to feel so behind when first joining the online world. GTA 5 for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series will be out on March 15th.